Welcome to this year's breakdown of some of the most exciting global tunneling projects. In a year and a half where many streets around the world were quiet, tunneling advancements continued below. We have now begun to return to the familiar sights of crowded streets and congested cities. And in an unclear future for climate, with increased flood risks, unclean water and growing pollution, the tunneling industry is determined to improve and reimagine the benefits that can be found in the world below, allowing cities to prosper, to breathe, our connections strong, safe and future-proofed. So let us start with some of the most accomplished metro projects around the world. In Lucknow, India, more than half of the new metro stations in phase two of what is a six-phase metro expansion will be underground. The project has many conservation measures, including a solar-paneled metro workshop supplying electricity to eight metro stations. Elsewhere in India, Mumbai Metro is the first underground metro line in the city with 27 stations in what is a three-phase construction, greatly enhancing connectivity. Work has been finished on one of the two tunnels passing under the Mitti River at a depth of 12.5 metres. Sydney Metro is Australia's biggest public transport project. It continued construction during COVID, 900 metres under Sydney Harbour, with an extension for new underground city stations and beyond. By 2024, there will be 31 metro stations and eventually more than 113 kilometres of state-of-the-art metro. In the car-hungry city of Los Angeles, USA, tunneling on Section 1 of the LA Metro Purple Line D is scheduled for completion in 2023, with Sections 2 and 3 expected to be complete in time for the 2028 Olympics. A trip along the 14.4-kilometer extension will eventually take only 15 minutes. In Milan, Italy, the first three stations of the new line are now functional between the city airport and main station. The blue line will take people from the city centre to its airport in 12 minutes. In Lyon, France, excavation has now been completed for the Line B extension on the Lyon Metro, which passed through complex geology during construction, requiring numerous hyperbaric interventions on the cutter head. Innovative reuse of slurry saved more than 7,000 lorry journeys and is a prime example of sustainability. In Belarus, construction of the first section of the third Minsk metro line continues. Utility tunnels in Minsk are also underway as the city develops. In Denmark, the City Ringen Metro is the largest construction project to have taken place in Copenhagen for 400 years, creating a station every 600 meters. Innovative design complements the project, which is going a long way to help Copenhagen's target of becoming the greenest city in the world. The Auckland City Rail Link is the largest transport infrastructure project ever to be undertaken in New Zealand, allowing the network to at least double capacity a 3.45-kilometer twin-tunnel underground link up to 42 meters below the city center joins with other lines on the network, allowing more trains to operate more often. In Russia, the Moscow Metro continues its rapid expansion in a city where over 70% of the city population use the metro. The vast new line construction will have a length of 69 kilometers with 31 stations, giving it the status of the world's longest metro circle line. In Iran, tunneling projects continue with completion and development of metro lines in numerous cities, including an extension of the Tehran metro. And here is a look at some of the most interesting global underground rail projects. In Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, the MRT2 line will be the third mass transport transit MRT line and fourth fully automated and driverless rail system in the Klang Valley area, with award-winning emphasis on innovative sustainability throughout the entire construction. In Switzerland, the Bern Station project includes the expansion of the Bern Railway Station, 
The second biggest station in Switzerland, with the construction of a new underground station, underpass, and supporting outdoor expansion works. Construction of the new pedestrian underpass will also include the facility to have a range of retail outlets. The battling station, constructed 102 meters under the Great Wall of China, cuts journey time from 3 hours to 1 hour, from Beijing to Zhangxiku. It is the deepest and largest high-speed railway station in the world and will greatly help facilitate access to the sites hosting the 2022 Winter Olympics. The Gualigongshang Tunnel is the key project of the Yunnan-Burma Railway between Dali and Ruli. At a length of 34.5 kilometers, it will also be the longest mountain railway tunnel in Asia and the seventh longest tunnel of the world when complete in 2022. Next, let's round up some of the best tunneling projects for global road developments. The 7-kilometer Shaja Korvakan project marks a new phase of infrastructure and tourist facilities on the east coast of the United Arab Emirates. The five-tunnel project includes the Al Multaka Tunnel, which is the longest covered tunnel in the Middle East. Motorists in Oman can now use the Al Jadar Expressway, featuring two tunnels for vehicles crossing the mountain range. Tunnels are a recent development in the country and are equipped with reassuring state-of-the-art security measures, as Muscat leads the way to create sustainable cities of the future. The opening of the Mila Mountain Tunnel at an altitude of more than 4,700 meters means that China has beaten its own record for the highest motorway tunnel set in 2017. It forms part of a 400-kilometer highway linking the regional capital of Lhasa with the southeast of Tibet. In the Cordillera central region of Colombia, the 8.65-kilometer La Linea Tunnel is now open and has cut journey lengths by 10 kilometers. It'll also help improve journey times, as well as trade and safety. The Nordhaven Tunnel in Copenhagen will connect Nordhaven with the rest of Copenhagen across the bay with the construction of a replacement harbour for approximately 600 boats. In the long term, the tunnel can be extended to help relieve road traffic in central parts of Copenhagen. In the Netherlands, the Rhineland route is being constructed to improve the accessibility and traffic flow in the region, from Leiden out to the coast, and includes a 2.2-kilometer length board tunnel. The project will greatly stimulate economic growth. In Poland, a 2.7-kilometer long tunnel with three lanes in each direction is part of the S2 Expressway in Warsaw. Underwater tunnels are a major construction method in tunneling, and here is a small selection. An underwater road tunnel under the Swina River in North Poland will at last connect two separated islands, greatly increasing connectivity and trade. The Shenzhen Zhongshan Channel project is the first two-way eight-lane immersed tunnel in the world, and also the first application of an immersed steel shell concrete tunnel in China. In South Korea, the Boryong Undersea Tunnel route will be recorded as the world's fifth longest following Tokyo, Japan, and three Norwegian tunnel routes. Boryong City aims to establish a marine tourist hub on Vonsan Island, reinvigorating tourism and supporting marine ecology. The first large-scale subsea shield tunnel, resistant to magnitude 8 earthquakes in China, the Shantou Suai Crossing, consists of two identical TBM-made tunnels crossing the Suai River and forms part of a longitudinal line planned for the trunk road network in Shantou City. The now-completed Rafilki Tunnel in Norway forms part of the three-tunnel Rifast project. It will greatly enhance connectivity in the dispersed landscape of the fjords and is currently the world's deepest subsea tunnel. It has innovative lighting through the tunnel to ease journey lag. Here are some of the many and vital water projects that include complex and lengthy tunnel construction. In France, improved access to water in the communities east of Marseille 
will be greatly helped by the Galerie des Janeaux tunnel. The project will upgrade the water supply and future-proof the region. In Turkey, the Garede water transmission tunnel is an urgent project to help alleviate chronic droughts in the capital Ankara. Its final leg passed through ground considered to be the most challenging ever driven by TBMs in Turkey. The supply line will draw water from the Garede River. In Nepal, the Bere Babai Diversion Multipurpose Project will provide year-round irrigation to 51,000 acres of land, creating both hydro and irrigation and boosting social and economic opportunities for the communities in the region. In the USA, Dig Indy is one of the largest civil works projects in Indianapolis history and will help restore water quality in local waterways back to levels unseen for more than 100 years and will improve the quality of life for central Indiana. The $1 billion Delaware Bypass Tunnel is the largest repair project in the 177-year history of New York City's water supply system. It includes a 4-kilometer bypass tunnel, 82 meters under the Hudson River. The TBM machine on the project was built to withstand more than 30 bar of pressure, believed to be the most of any TBM ever manufactured. The Aguasur project in Argentina will carry drinking water from an existing water treatment plant. Infrastructure works include 23 kilometers of water conveyance tunnel built in two stages and 46 kilometers of pipe connections. It is the country's largest water infrastructure project in 40 years. In Canada, Metro Vancouver hopes to improve water security in the event of a large earthquake with the Anasis Island project and includes an 800-meter excavated tunnel between two 40-meter deep shafts. In Sweden, wastewater will be conveyed from west of Stockholm to the extended plant in a new 14-kilometer tunnel blasted in the rock under Stockholm. It will drastically reduce the threat of untreated wastewater being released into Lake Malaran. Once complete, Kenya's northern Nairobi water collector tunnel will increase water capacity at the main reservoir of water supplied to Nairobi and its surrounding regions, helping solve the challenge of transporting water across a large and difficult terrain. In Thailand, work is underway to help alleviate potential flood damage in prone regions. An urgent need as climates change and more hazardous rainstorms arrive. The TPM was specially designed to work in extremely tight conditions. Best practice in new hydropower developments have been put in place to reduce any local impacts so that the opportunities for its pollution-free electricity can be fully realized. One of the deepest shafts in global hydropower projects lies at the heart of the 531 megawatt Alto Maipo hydropower project in Chile. Also in Chile, the Los Condores hydroelectric project near the southern city of Concepcion will use water from the nearby lagoon, channeling it through a 16-kilometer tunnel structure. In Sri Lanka, the 15.3-kilometer headrace tunnel supplies water for the Uma Oya multipurpose development project from the tank of the second dam to the hydropower plant. The purpose of the very difficult project is improving irrigation and generating power. The Wudongde hydropower project has become the fourth biggest hydroelectric power plant in China and along with the Bayatan hydropower project forms the second phase of four large hydropower projects being constructed downstream of Jinsha River. The Bayatan project will be the world's second biggest power station after the Three Gorges Dam and is equipped with three spillway tunnels. France's largest hydroelectric project is the replacement of six power plants, with an underground hydroelectric facility and 9.3 kilometer underground intake tunnel to connect the new dam to the power plant, all designed to optimize the hydroelectric potential of the Romanche River and supply 250,000 homes. 
Digital and remote engineering have seen great advancements in recent years, and in the United Arab Emirates, there are plans to trial drones to inspect the Dubai Metro tunnels. The tunnels on both red and green lines span a length of over 14 kilometers. Drones are capable of offering quick and precise inspection, as well as cut down inspection time. This process has been used in other projects around the world, such as Crossrail in the UK, and beckons in a new way of working with future tech. In the UK, tunnelling to provide a boost to London electricity is commencing, aiming for a supply to sustain the city well into the future. As the underground develops, so do the opportunities for underground space itself. Designers and architects are forming unique bonds with engineers to help the space below fully realise its potential and create the best experience for travellers and visitors with natural light flooding deep below. From underground farming, parking, storage, transit and package delivered to central hubs, workspaces such as libraries and entertainment. The real estate below our feet is becoming an inviting world to a space of our dreams.